mis dos hijos que se los llevaron ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Por qué me estás pidiendo eso? ¿Has everyone gone? Yes, we are the only ones left. Has Juanita returned from the house? No. She says she would not come back until she saw Francisco and brought him back to us. That cursed house. Esa maldita casa. Ever since those two came here, there's been nothing but death and sorrow. Or Francisco, how is he? I don't know, Mama. They will not let me see. But why? They say he has the sickness. Dios mío, Dios mío de mi vida, Virgen Santa, Virgen Santa. Why? Why must we lose our sons and brothers to them? Perhaps it is God's will. God's will. God's will. Was it God's will that Agustin Rojas should die? And that other boy, Jose Alvarez? No. I say no. It's because of them. You speak in anger, Juanita. The children became ill. El Patron and his sister, both great doctors, could not save them. They became ill only after they went to work in that awful place. And why were they buried at night? So we could not see them. To give them a Christian burial. Why? Why? You know why. They told us the children die of some strange contagious disease and have to be buried at once. What shall we do now? We cannot go without Francisco. We must wait and pray. I don't know what else to do. Another wonderful storm. I congratulate you, dear brother. You were correct in choosing this wild land. It was not I. It was Professor von Metzler who said in southwest part of America, you'll find these electrical storms you need for your experiments. Mother Strudels, you never do take any credit for what you do. I want no credit for these terrible things we are doing here, Maria. All I want is to go back to Vienna. Mm, Vienna. We will not see an electrical storm there in months. But here the very gods conspire to give them to us all the time. Well, we go to work. In a moment, we shall know if we have succeeded.
Quick, prepare the injection of the Gitaris. the digitalis. You took long enough. One would think you did not want him to live. He's dead. What a fool I've been. I've allowed the duothermic impulsator to be attached only to the body. Let's see what grandfather's notation says. You see? The duothermic impulsator must also be attached to a living brain to transmit living vibrations to the artificial brain. But such a powerful electric impulse might prove fatal to the brain of a living person. That chance I am willing to take. It's because we've been forced to use the brains of children that we've failed. What we need is a man, a powerful man, a giant. Then we shall succeed. But what, what good will do to succeed? Imagine, we'll have someone to do our bidding who can't be put to death. Just as we have to given it life, only we can take its life away. Maria, we have already caused the death of three children and violated the graves of others just to make the experiments. My, you're a humanitarian. You should have stayed in Europe and given pink pills to sweet old ladies. This is the last artificial brain Grandfather Frankenstein made. The secret of how to make these died with him. If I fail in this last attempt, I too am willing to die. Is it so terrible to fail? You're a fool, Rudolf. We hold the secret of life in our hands. Maria, Maria, this has already cost Grandfather his life. And Father has never... Father was a weakling. He dared not try the experiments, only on paper. You know, Rudolf, sometimes I think you remind me of father. What do you want to do next? There's no one else left to experiment on. This boy was the last. And his sister Juanita was here demanding to see him. What did you tell her? The same as the others, that the boy has a highly contagious disease and cannot be seen. Good. These peasants are ignorant and superstitious. We have nothing to fear from them. When the Lopez family finds out that Francisco is dead, they will leave, like the others. We'll be alone, all alone in this wilderness, in this... I can't stand. Everything is just right here. The isolation, the electrical storms for the energy we need. I know you want to leave. Well, you can't. Where would you go, Vienna? The police are looking for us there. They did not understand our work any better than these peasants. Rudolf! We are safer here than anywhere else. No. Now that I know what is wrong, Somehow I will find the right man to withstand the shock of my experiment. He must be big and strong. Strong as a giant. This is the time, Stacey.
Stacy, get up. You better win this, we're stone broke. What makes you think I'm losing, Jesse? Well, that's that. Nobody's beaten Stacy since I bought this saloon. That's over ten years ago. There's always the first time. I'll take that bet money now. Not so fast. Not so fast. I could have the sheriff lock you two up for disturbing the peace, but I'll make you a deal. Leave town and I won't press charges. You better pay up, mister. Why should I? Well, for one thing, I beat your man fair and square I did. For another thing, we need the money real bad. And for another thing, the man you're holding out on is Jesse James. <laughs> I heard that Jesse James was killed up at Northridge. There are a lot of folks who think that the James boys were wiped out. Well, I'm Jesse, all right. There's only one way to prove it. I'll take that bet money. No hard feelings. You see, we weren't all killed at Northridge. We've sure been on the run ever since, though. That makes a man hungry. Why, Hank and I haven't had anything to eat since, uh... When was the last time we ate, Hank? It's been one whole day, but seems more like a month. Hank would have taken your man a lot easier if he'd had his full strength. Now, ain't that right, Hank? Yep. Uh, how about that steak now? now? That's an idea. And we'll pay for it with your money. I say you had no right to call in Jesse James and his boys. This was our deal. My deal, if you come right down to it. This was that big killing you've always been telling me about. You know, the one you've never been able to come up with? And now you tell me we ought to split it with Jesse James. If you weren't my brother, I'd really work you over. Do you think we can pull this deal ourselves? The two of us have played out there. Well, at least you could have talked it over with me first. I'm the leader of the wild bunch. I ain't talking nothing over with nobody. And if you don't like it, get out. Just the same, my share is gonna be one third. And you can cut up the rest between you and Jesse James any way you want to, but your share is gonna be exactly what I say it is. No more, no less. Speed signal. It must be Jesse James. Mm hmm. That Hank Tracy? You'd be Butch Curry, head man of the Wild Bunch. That's right. Come on in, Jesse. This is Jesse James. This is my brother, Lonnie. Lonnie? Pete Ketchum, our lookout. Pete? Right. Uh, Hank Tracy. Yeah. Lonnie? Pete. All right. Well, this is the bunch. We got hit at St. Joe, Liberty, and Little Blue. We lost 11 men and all. I can't hardly believe the famous Wild Bunch is down to three men. I don't think the James boys are doing much better. Frank James hiding out in Kentucky as a preacher. And I hear the real Jesse James was shot to death. He's 
Everybody is trying to make me a corpse. Well, I don't like it. You trying to make me a liar? <laughs> no harm. No harm at all. It's just as there's a lot of four flushers around here that's claiming to be Jesse James. Now, we didn't come here for any trouble. We came here to do a little job with you boys. I'm sorry, Lonnie, but you just backed yourself into a corner. <laughs> Take it easy, Jesse. He'll be all right and this sobers up. Now, to tell you the truth, Jesse, I, I figured you'd have more men. I didn't know that you were down to Hank and yourself. But I still think we got enough to pull us. And I think you'll agree that it's worth it when I tell you what it is. Have a seat. Now, on the way here, you pass through the Paseo del Norte. Do you know it? Yeah. Narrow cut about 30 miles out of Bisbee. Well, we're going to take delivery of $100,000 there. $100,000? I thought you'd like the idea. It's an awful lot of money. You sure? Lonnie's sparking a girl that works at the bank. And when the bank gets fat to the tune of $100,000, they transfer it to Fort Buchanan. And later on, it's sent back east by the Army supply train. Right, Lonnie? That's right. My word has always been good enough for the wild bunch, Mr. James. No, huh? No, huh? That's an awful lot of money in one place at one time. Jesse and me have looked down many a gun barrel for a lot less than that. Eh, hey, Jesse? Right, Hank. Seems to me anybody shipping that much money through a narrow pass would figure that's a natural place for a holdup. That's the way the bank figures it, too. And that's why they send their stagecoats on through the pass with passengers and no money as a decoy. Decoy? That's right. When the first stagecoach gets through, they signal the second stagecoach that's all is clear. That's the one we'll be waiting for. With the money and no passengers. Simple and sweet, ain't it? What's the matter? Don't you like it? That's too simple. What's the hitch? No hitch. The second coach has only a driver and a shotgun. And we'll hit them so fast they won't know what happened. I'd still like it better if we had more men, but I think we got enough to do it. Are you game? You want to try it? You know me, Jesse. Whatever you say. What's the split? Well, there's five of us. We'll split Butch. it. We'll split it five ways. Well, I didn't ride 300 miles for my help. The deal. Marshal, I tell you, I know that's Jesse James. I made sure of that. So you get Jesse and I get the $10,000 reward, dead or alive. How do I know you're not sending us right into a trap? Well, I'm riding right there with him, ain't I? If I was lying to you, it'd be easy enough for you to pick me off. Besides, I'm going straight. Well, I can't afford not to go along with you, but let me tell you one thing. If you want to collect that reward, you better make sure you stay out of the line of fire. Marshal, I tell you, I'm going straight. Now, all you got to do is tell your men that I'm on your side. Well, I guess I better be getting back to the boys. They might start to miss me. We wouldn't want that to happen, would we, Marshal? <laughs> well, we got a deal. Now, you men know what to do. But I don't want anybody getting trigger happy because one of them happens to be Jesse James. Now, let's spread out and get up high. You two men take this side. Andy, we'll take this side and the horses. Let's go.
All right, Jesse, this is it. Now, remember, after the first coach gets through, they fire two shots. That's a signal for the second coach to come on. You got it? You and Hank take that side. We'll take this side. What's the matter, Lonnie? You seem nervous. Something bothering you? Now, just what are you driving at? All right, you two, knock it off, knock it off. We're all a little edgy. Come on. Lonnie! Get ready, boys. First coach is coming. That's the first one. That's the signal. There she comes now, Jesse. Get ready. Here she comes. How about it, Jesse? You haven't got a chance. Let's get out of here. the end of the wild bunch. Ain't he one of them? Lonnie? He tells me he's going straight. Sure am. You saw me. Didn't I try to help you get Jesse James? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you did at that. I want to thank you, men. Now you better get back your jobs and your homes. What about you? My job's going after those two. And I can't say I like it very much either. I'm going with you, Marshal. You want that reward pretty bad, don't you, Lonnie? Yeah, I want that 10000 But I want to see Jesse James' eyes looking right at me when I shoot him. I never figured you'd try to shoot Jesse James from the front, Lonnie. All right, let's get these two men in the stagecoach. Get them back in town. You guys give me a hand. <coughs> Jesse? Sure you will. Yeah, well, I'll just rest here a while and we'll, we'll move on.
Se, señor, no tenemos nada que nos lleve. Somos pobres. No nos haga daño. We, we, have, we have nothing. Nothing. I don't mean you know, huh? Oh. Bueno. Buenas noches, señor. Buenas noches. Uh, ¿Habla inglés? Poquito. Uh, he speaks a little bit. Well, uh, my friend's sick. I wonder if you'd mind if we'd uh, rest with you a spell. Sí, señor, cómo no. Gracias. ¿Quién será? Pues no sé. ¿A quién puede traer esta miedo. noche? Por favor, no, hija, no. Espérate miedo. a ver quién viene. Ruegale a Dios que no sea nadie mal. Well, uh, he was cleaning his gun. Here, let me help you. Dip this into the hot water, right over there. The bullet must come out. I know it. There's a doctor in Prescott. Well, we can't go into Prescott. We can't go into any town. I understand. I knew what you were when you first came into camp. Your friend is dying. Dying? The wound is very bad. Very bad. I will take him to the doctors. Where? Do not worry. You will be safe. Thanks. Thanks very much. The man is dying. I'm taking him back to the doctors at the mission. No, my child. You must not go back to them. But I have to. I can let him die. And if you go there, something terrible will happen to you. I'm not afraid. I say you are not to go back. I forbid it. But, Papa... I forbid it. We must wait a while. Senor, do you speak English? A little. We've been following two men. One's a big man. He's been wounded. Do you understand? Comprehenda? Si, senor. Well, did you see them? No, senor. Marshal. So you didn't see anybody, huh? Marshal? Take a look at these. 
Hmm. Could have been them. I got a hunch they were here. Well, folks say Jesse James steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Adios, senor. You're lying. You're lying to us. They were here and you helped them get away. I ought to kill you. Let him alone. Juanita, she went away with them in the night. We must go after her. No. When Francisco died, I saw that I would go away and never come back. And I will not. Not even for Juanita. Then I will go back without you. You will be lost in five minutes. You will do as I say, as Juanita should have done. How do you feel, senor? I'll cook you some broth. If Jesse is looking, bring us something to eat. I'll bring you some water. Juanita. I told her to stay here. Save my life, Jesse. Up there. That is the place I told you about. There's where the doctors are. This is our home. I wait here. You know how to use one of these? Yes. Help me brighten one, Ada. I'm not. Now that you're here, I'll be waiting for you.
Who is it? We want to see the doctor. We want to see the doctor. My friend is badly hurt. Who sent you to us? A girl by the name of Juanita. Juanita? Is she back here? Yes, come on, you're wasting time. Just a minute. Maria. Maria. What is it, Rudolf? Two men, they are looking for a doctor. Perhaps it's the police. Police here? Hundreds of miles from nowhere? You're a fool. The girl Juanita is back. She brought them here. And you're afraid of an ignorant girl? I shall take care of it. Come in. What happened? You're the doctor? Yes. My brother and I are both doctors. What happened? Well, he uh, shot himself cleaning his gun. We will be glad to help your friend, won't we, Rudolf? Maria, I believe that... Rudolf! The laboratory. This way. Take him in there. Put him on the table. The man's story is obviously a false one. So much the better. They must be running from the law. Why else would they seek us out? Heaven sent them to us. Heaven? Please wait in the hall while we examine the patient. All right, I'd like to take care of the horses anyway. If you put them in the lower stable, they will be well hidden there. I'll be right back. It is nothing. He is strong as a giant. What a brute he'll make. ma'am. I'm Marshal McPhee. We've been trailing two men. Did they stop here? Uh, two men? Yes, one of them was wounded. Oh, no, no. They, they're not here. Well, if you don't mind, I'll come in and look around. I told you they weren't here. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. Your friend is very sick, Mr. Mr. 
Howard. Ah, yes. Mr. Howard. He has a very high temperature, but uh, my brother is an excellent doctor. Mm -hmm. Won't you come to the library? I want to talk to you. Please sit down, Mr. Howard. Did Juanita tell you some terrible tales about us? Why did you say that? <laughs> well, uh, what did she tell you? Nothing. We ran into the Lopez family and Juanita offered to bring us to a doctor. Nothing else? Should she have told us something else? No, I suppose not. Perhaps you're wondering why we live in this old abandoned mission. The answer is quite simple. My brother and I came here from Europe. We are scientists, perhaps ahead of our time. Our experiments were not always understood or appreciated in our own country, so we had to leave. Finally, we came here. When I realized that out here, my brother and I could stop from running, I took possession of this old mission and fixed it up for our work. Well, I must say it's different. I mean, making a home out of a monastery. Sort of lonesome, I should think. It has its compensations. Won't you join me? Help yourself. Well, uh, thanks. Uh, it's been a long time since we uh, stopped to eat. Gentlemen. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Marshal McPhee. We're trailing two outlaws. Outlaws? Oh, don't be frightened. They're not the type to hurt women. Besides, one of them's badly hurt. And uh, who are these outlaws? One's Jesse James, the other's Hank Tracy. Well, my brother and I have neither seen nor heard anyone today. But if we do, we shall send word to you. Thank you. Where will you be? Well, I have a feeling they're holding up in this area someplace, so I think we'll spend a few days in Shelby. Very well. Thank you. Just the marshal looking for some outlaws. Oh, uh, did he say who they were? No, Mr. Howard. While my brother is taking care of your friend, I hope you will decide to stay here with us. Well, thanks. Uh, well, I'd like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will see if I can help my brother. Lost a lot of blood. He looks all right to me. I intend to use him in my next experiment. Maria, please stop this terrible experiment. We'll have another death on our conscience. Don't be an imbecile. If I turned him over to the marshal, he'd be hanged anyway. So what has he got to lose? Now go get that girl, Juanita, to help you. Remember, he must stay alive. I think it's a mistake to bring her into this house. Let it be my mistake, then. But get her here where I can keep an eye on her. Good morning. Good morning. 
How do you feel this morning? Pretty good. You've been awful good to me, Juanita. Hardly anybody's been that good. Except maybe Jesse. I, I can't thank you enough. I don't do this because I want thanks. Juanita, when I get well and Jesse and I leave, will you go with us? No. I must stay here. Someday, when the Frankensteins leave, my people will come back. You must be wrong about them, Juanita. Look how good they're treating me. Perhaps. But out there in the graveyard, I see my brother's grave. No. My place is here. Then I'll stay here with you. Oh, no. You mustn't. I won't let you. As soon as you get well, you must go. But Juanita... No. No. Juanita. You know what? Today, Hank asked me to come with you when you go. Don't you want me to go with you? It isn't that, Juanita. It's just... Well, I'm waiting. When I first met you, I told you I'm Jesse James. I'm an outlaw. You are the outlaw. That I know. But you haven't told me. Do you want me to go with you? That's your answer. That is all I wanted to know. No. I can't not leave this place. I must not. But I had to know that you wanted me. If that isn't just like a wolf. Please, do not be angry with me. You see, I must stay just as you must go. Why must I go? Because I do not trust the Frankensteins. They're wicked. They're terrible people. They will destroy you. They destroy our village and some of our boys. And they will destroy you and Hank. Promise. On my brother's grave. Please. Go. Someday, when things are different for you and me, you come back. I'll wait. Hard inside. I thought I'd come out for a smoke. Yes, it's nice out here. It's a kind of nice country. Why has everybody except Juanita gone away? We are scientists. We make experiments. These people are ignorant. They do not understand and they're frightened. So they've run away. Seems like uh, some of them didn't quite make it. Ah, yes, Francisco. A sweet child. He became ill, but my brother and I could not save him. He was weak. Not like your friend Hank. Hank is improving. Thanks to you and your brother. And Juanita. He's doing even better than I'd hoped for. How soon do you think we'll be able to leave? I want to speak to you about that.
I want you to stay. I'm sorry. I made a promise that we'd leave as soon as Hank was well enough to travel. A promise? To whom? To my uh, self, you might say. It's lonesome out here and very difficult for us. We do not know how to cope with this wild country. Stay here. We need you. I need you. I'm on the verge of a great experiment. And I know I will succeed this time. I will build an empire here. I want you to share in everything. My experiments. My life. How can I help you? Rudolph is weak. I need you. I need your strength. We leave as soon as Hank is well enough to travel. I'm sorry I made a fool of myself. Good night, Mr. Howard. You're to find Jesse, Mr. Howard, and give him this envelope. What is it? You are to tell him it's a prescription for Hank, that he's taken a turn for the worse, and that we need this prescription to be filled. But Hank is doing well. And Juanita knows it, and she sees Jesse all the time, especially at night. So you've been snooping around as usual. Well, then you know. To think that this outlaw, with a price on his head, refused me for that girl. Yes, I've seen them together, too. So what are you going to do, Maria? Nothing foolish, I hope. What is in this envelope? I tell you what. It's a note to Jensen, the druggist in Shelby, telling him that the bearer is Jesse James, the outlaw, with a price on his head. No, you mustn't. You mustn't. Mustn't I? Why not? I would have turned him in before, only... Only you wanted him for yourself. Oh, you're jealous. You're human, after all. <laughs> How dare, dare you! So I have to ride into Shelby to get some medicine for Hank. He's taken a turn for the worst. What do you mean? When I saw him this evening, he was fine. Oh, they're sending you away to get rid of you. Now, why would they try and get rid of me? Besides, if you're wrong, it cost Hank his life. Jesse! Don't trust him. Especially Maria. Please, don't go. I'll be back. Jesse! What you're going to do is insane. We shall soon see which one of us is insane. Besides, we should postpone this transplantation until he recovers from his gun wound. He's recovered enough. Maria, this is not the same as experimenting on one of the village children. Jesse James will kill us for what we are doing. Jesse James will be caught and hanged in Shelby. Now get on with the operation. While you're finished preparing, I shall activate the artificial brain.
The brain is ready. The patient is ready. Good. senses when we operate. I told you to muzzle him. I forgot. I'm very upset, Maria. I haven't your nerves. Go silence him. Yes. The next stroke of lightning, we shall have the answer. Don't do it, Maria. You are going too far. No one should tamper with the laws of God. We must save him. Let me have it. No, 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 no. Why not? Oh, we're wasting time. So that's it! No! Uh. Egon! Save me! Egon, save me! Egon! Save me! Get him, Eagle! Get him! 
Mommy, sister, Shabby. You killed the others with this to keep me from succeeding with my experiments. You have been flaunting God's will. Probably with him. Well, you got riddance to them both. But I still have you, Igor. Come. I've got to have this medicine to get right back. No, no, it's just that I haven't got the medicine handy. If you'll uh, sit down and wait. Will it take long? I don't know, uh, just sit there. I'll be right back with the medicine. Shouldn't we wait till Sheriff Buchanan and the Marshal get back? No, I don't think so. They're not going to be back for hours. You see, Jensen, someone gave him a tip that they knew where Jesse James was hiding out. <laughs> it's a guy you saw. What uh, What he look like? Hmm. Medium tall, young, dark. Looked like he'd been riding a long way. I'll tell you something else. He looked plenty tough. Jensen, you see this? This is made to take care of tough guys. I don't want to get mixed up in any gunplay. Especially not in my store. I'm a married man. You're going to do exactly what I say and keep your mouth shut. I still see I won't mix up in any gunplay. Jesse James, of all people. Now, Jensen, you listen to me. There's $10,000 reward for Jesse James. I'm going to collect it, and you're going to help me. What do, you, what do you want me to do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But I do want you to go back over there and make him up some kind of medicine. Anything. Just act like nothing happened. Now don't be so nervous. I'm liable to catch on. What about you? Don't you worry about me. I'll be there. And Jensen, I want you to listen to me and remember this. 
If anything goes wrong, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. No. it going to take? Not very long. I got to measure this, you know. I told you, Justin. I get nervous. Please, Jesse, don't shoot me. How did you know my name? go back. What do you mean? Is Hank all right? No. What they did to Hank, you can't believe it. It's terrible. If you go back, they do the same thing to you. What are you talking about? Hank is not Hank anymore. I have to go back. If you do, I go to the march or Shelby for help. I know what it'll mean if I bring him back with me. But I'd rather see you dead than see you looking like Hank. I still have to go back to Hank. I'm sorry, Jesse. I must do it. I love you too much not to. And that's the truth, Marshall. Please, please believe me. Too bad you didn't tell me about this when I came to your house. I know, I know. I was wrong. God, forgive me. All right, let's go. Thank you, Marshall. That's enough, Igor. Quick, Igor, into the house. Get in there. Be quiet. If I need you, I will call you. Jesse James! Open up! I'm... I'm glad you're back. No thanks to you. Yes, yes, I, I know what you're thinking. But it was Rudolph. He forced me to write that note. I want to see Hank right now. Well, Hank... Hank is not here. He and Rudolph left together. I don't believe it. I swear it. All right, if you won't tell me where he is, I'll find him. Why do you treat me like this? When you know how I feel about you? All right, I'll shake the truth out of you. Igor! All right, then I'll choke it out of you. Once and for all, what did you do to Hank? I want to know! Bring him in here. Put him on the table.
Igor! Go to your room. Your room, Igor. Your strength, Jesse James. You will need it. Yes. I knew who you were from the very first. You see, we have something in common. We're both outside the law. That's why I offered you a chance to join me. But you chose to refuse me. You, an outlaw, refusing me, Maria Frankenstein, granddaughter of a count. I will use you in my next experiment. You see, Jesse James, I have won after all. Where's Hank? What have you done with him? You will see Hank soon. Sweet dreams, Jesse James. Perhaps of Juanita. Now I've got work to do. Perhaps it's better if she doesn't see me. I have nothing to say. Go away. I'm in the midst of an important experiment. You wait just a minute. I want to talk to you. About what? I've been told you're harboring Jesse James and Hank Tracy. Who told you such a lie? Juanita Lopez. <laughs> Juanita Lopez. I'm surprised that you're Marshal listening to an ignorant peasant. Well, just the same, I intend to search this place. Well, uh, search all you care to. Uh, I'll show you around myself. Well, that's just exactly what I'm going to do. Well, shall we start with my laboratory? Well, Jesse, finally caught up with you. What did you say? Nothing. No! Please! 
Kill. Kill. Jesse, Hank. Kill. Kill. No. Hank, it, it's me, Jesse James, your friend. Hank? Hank! Hank, don't make me kill you. Our village is free once more, thanks to you. And Hank, my people will come back here. Jesse, I will be waiting for you here. No, Juanita, look, I am an outlaw with a rope waiting for me. That's not what I want to hear. Vaya con Dios. Te amo, mi vida. Go with God. <laughs> 